hello vipi wa kurugenzi it's another saturday 6 pm kama kei kama kawa tunapata nanga hapa dialogue of the well only on wema tv and i know last week's discussions has been crazy and awesome najua you have done your smart goal setting and now we are here to accomplish them and today i have an amazing guest a wonderful guest a young man actually a billionaire you know you're going to hear him out and today we want to talk about youth and business how can we young people in our generation be part of a growing industry not only in employment or in other kinds of funny jobs but we want to venture into business become your own boss start something small and see it become something great in future and now today leo ni ile siku kabla tumaliza january lazima tujue vile tutafanya mabiashara i know you have been there you have been employed for a long time i'm not saying employment is bad and we are going to discuss about that but you have been having that small idea in your mind the small man ama the small woman inside you telling you know what you can do this and now i'm welcoming my good friend karibu sana dialogue of the well thank you very much skia ukiwa huru hapa wema home thank you very much Sidio, karibu good. tell us who you are wewe ni nani unafanya nini unaitwa nani wacha wakurugenzi wakusikie leo Okay. Yes. Asante sana Bigger. Eh? Mm. I thank God for this opportunity first of all. Karibu sana. It's a great honor and I'm very humbled. Amen. My name's uh, Eric but uh, as you said mm -hmm. without contradiction. Yes. I'm a billionaire Eric. Exactly. And uh, I do real estate mm -hmm. and uh, technology. Okay. Selling and renting of property. Yes. And uh, on the technology bit mm -hmm. we develop softwares yes mobile apps yes design websites okay. etc etc e anything concerning technology yeah. you are the guys points of sale everything you are the guys anything you can think about exactly yes. you have heard uh, from mr billionaire eric the billionaire mm. i love that name this yeah. is a young man actually as you can see him he's young hello <laughs> bi wa kurugenzi <laughs> najua mnanisikia He's young. Sitaendelea zaidi. Atajisema na atajintroduce zaidi na zaidi as we continue the show. And today as we dive into our topic today, mm -hmm. youth and business. Yes. Say, maybe before we we start maybe and you can open with remarks how when ukisikia youth uko nje mm -hmm. with business what comes to your mind or rather how can you expound or explain even this one? Okay, so when we talk about youth and business. Yes. Uh, our youth uh, out there mm -hmm. carry a lot of potential yes and they are very innovative mm -hmm. you can sit down with a youth yeah maybe who seated at the wrong place yes but what he'll talk about mm -hmm. is something you'll never even think he, he had it in mind uh -huh. so you'll understand mm -hmm. this is a guy who has a lot of potential mm -hmm. but he's lacked the avenues yes of uh, displaying it mm -hmm. or putting it into practice into practice yes, yes okay and when we say youth who is a youth actually unajua ni vizuri tuanzia hapo maybe kuna mtu kaguka kako nje wasema hata mimi ni kijana so when we we want to we want to categorize that clearly youth basically by dictionary i yes. think is the age between childhood and adulthood uh -huh. but my own definition of a youth yes This is someone who's called a decision maker. Mm -hmm. Someone who's at the age of making decisions for themselves. Yes. Because growing up, yes. eh, age around 8 to 16, yes. your parents made decisions for you. Yes. But when you're 17 and above, mm -hmm. you start wanting to make decisions mm -hmm. for yourself. You want to be entitled you to something. You want to you want to have your own say. Uh, yeah. you want to have your own bedroom mm -hmm. you want to have your own privacy mm -hmm. so this is when you you learn mm -hmm. you can make decisions for yourself okay so my definition for youth yes. a youth is a decision maker a, someone who can make a, a sound decision yes that is a youth yes and now today we are talking about youth and business and as i was talking to you you you, you mentioned something very 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 persuasive and i was like okay at 16 yeah At 16 is when I started business. At 16 is Years when you age. started business. Yes. Tell me what did you start? Maybe unajua watu washangaa 16. Okay. Wakati so, sisi tulikuwa tuna ban movie na kucheza games. 
Eh? So growing up in the urban center, yeah. Nairobi, okay. there were a lot of gigs that were going on mm -hmm. on the weekends. Mm -hmm. When uh, it's holidays mm -hmm. or events, like daylight, okay. ETC, ETC. Okay. So what I was doing then... So, sorry, so you're bas basically you were in high school. I was in high school then. Yes. I was in Form 1. Form 1. Yes. So how are you doing this business? During holidays. Or during holidays? Yes. Ah, so when you talk about holidays, instead you but that aside that aside yes back to business uh, so at this at this time now mm -hmm. there are gigs going on yes. during that time yes during holidays april yes. holidays yes. august yes so i i realized mm -hmm. okay people want uh, there are tickets to access these events mm -hmm. but I, I figured it out. Why why can't I be the one mm -hmm. selling this these tickets yes. to these people who want to go to these events? Uh -huh. Because the ones who are going were also young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I figured out okay how I can beat the ones who are existing. Yes, is I say I'll deliver those tickets to where you are. Uh -huh. You understand? Yes, to the client. To the client. Uh -huh. So this way. I get I, I I could buy the tickets from the owner of yes. the event yes. and go and sell it to the one who wants, wants to go to, to that event. event. Yes. Yeah. At a so, cheaper at, at a higher price. At a higher the, price price of your choice. Yeah. Okay. So you had to make a decision. Yes. You had to you saw an opportunity. Yes. So basically business is all about seeing an opportunity, yeah. seizing it and uh, and making it happen. Yeah, having a, pro a solution to a problem. Solution to a problem. Yes. Thank you so much. So what is business now? So business is business as uh, uh, defined in the dictionary mm -hmm. is uh, trading a service or yes. a product yes. for profit. For profit. Yes. Okay. 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 Profit. Profit in Missouri. Mm. So now when we say it's a trading, now what if um, a, a, a young man out there, am I even a lady or someone who is uh, having a business mind, maybe they're employed and they're into employment, but they have been having that in a them telling them that like this is not their comfort place. So how can we, can we, can we revive the spirit business in them so that they can see the opportunity and do that. They have the opportunities, but there is something that is limiting them. I don't want to say fear or anything, but I know you can expound it better on, okay. on that particular area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of comfortability first. Yes. Myself personally. Yes. I cannot stay in the house the whole day. Mm -hmm. I would go mad mm -hmm. because I refuse to be comfortable. Okay. And the only drug of choice is comfort. Mm -hmm. So for you who's are earning a salary. Yes and you feel like this is not your space. Mm -hmm. So you are at a better position mm -hmm. to start your own business. Because many people, the challenge of people starting their own business, mm -hmm. they say it is capital. Yes, capital, yeah. So you who has a salary mm -hmm. and you feel like, okay, I, want, I need to own my own business. Mm -hmm. So from there, you make a decision. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll be here for the next 10 years. Yes. But after 10 years, yes. I would have saved a certain amount of money yes. to start this business that I have in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. basically that's it. Okay. So basically what we are saying, employment is okay as well. Employment but is okay Yes. For, for, you who's, for you who's employed and yes. you feel like, okay, this is where my destiny lies. Yes. Because there are many people who are doing good in employment as well. They are thriving in employment. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not a must that uh, because everybody is saying like young people should start start their own businesses. That should not be uh, it, actually it should not be like a peer pressure. Yeah. Like you are being forced to do business whereas you are not a good business uh, pioneer. Yes. You know as like, I like saying there those who are pioneers and they are stewards. Yes. Stewards, I can say they are employer, employment, uh, employees yes. who have been employed to run the business and they can do it very yes. comfortable. Yes. But when you give them the idea to start it, my friend, it will not even 
take a week mm. before it comes down. Yeah. But kuna wale pia na wao, they cannot be employed. They just want to start and start and start. Mm. So when we marry them together, at least we can co coexist. Yeah. So now business, uh, as we are saying, uh, to we want to empower the young people out there to, to start business and to be independent and to come out of their comfort zone. So how do we start a business? Or rather, how can I start a business? Uh, the first step to start in a business is you identify your what are you passionate about. So it's all about business, mm -hmm. all about passion, what you like doing. Or... What, what do you like doing? What are your hobbies? Mm -hmm. That's where you start. Okay. Okay, I love, um, for example, I'm a good, I'm good at taking photos. Mm -hmm. Take go, go out, tell your friends, let me take photos of you mm -hmm. with my phone. Yeah. And each photo... I'll sell it to you at this price. Mm -hmm. From there, you can grow from there. So you can start business with what you like doing yeah, what you as like you develop. Doing. Yeah. Now let's say a grown-up man like me, I've come into the city, mm -hmm. like a billionaire, you have, you have dragged me to the city. Hey, do, and I robi kuna mabiashara, kuje wanze biashara. I am so green and so fresh. Mm -hmm. I have no capital, I have nothing, mm -hmm. but I've come into Nairobi. Okay, capital is not a problem, first mm -hmm. of all. Uh, we have over 50 banks or more in mm. our country. Yeah. And uh, the business of banks is to sell money. Mm -hmm. So how do you say you don't have money when there are people selling it? So you can buy money. You can go to a bank and, and tell buy. them, mm -hmm. let me do business with you. I want to buy money from you. What if they don't take your, your idea? Or rather they will ask you for security. That's why I say it. Yes. You know, the Bible says, yes. ask and you shall receive. Uh-huh. And when you ask and believe, yes, you will receive. Uh -huh. So the first step of everything, mm -hmm. the first step to you having a million shillings in mm -hmm. your bank, yes, is you asking for a million shillings from the right person. Yes. So ask, okay, I want to do this and this. Mm -hmm. You as a bank, your business is selling money to people. Mm -hmm. How can you help me? Okay. So and uh, so your idea has to be has to be uh or rather I would say has to be captivating. Yeah, very captivating. Because what what uh, Mr. Billionaire, what I want us to do is to empower the young people out there, not to do businesses like copy and paste. Because yeah. Ninauza nguo PM Jamani ita jama mgianze kuza nguo. Kwa unakumuka ile saga ya, ya, ya maya ya kweli. Yeah, Venye that's kuja. basically a trend in our country. Yes. You'll know Gikomba for everyone selling clothes. Mm -hmm. But why don't you be the one mm -hmm. who sells the the thing that builds those clothes together in Gikomba? Yeah, because they actually, yeah. You see? Uh -huh. So this is how you, you must have an eye for opportunity. You have to be smart. You have to be very smart. Mm hmm and have a, that eye for opportunity. Okay. So, so when I'm selling water here today, y yes. don't come and sell water. Because that's, that's the norm of our, okay. of our society. That's, that's how business is done, especially in Nairobi. Yes. If I'm selling water today, mm -hmm. come and sell me the bottle. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah, yeah. Because there are a lot of water vendors. There was a particular time, there was a particular place you can just... Uh, uh, okay. refill water. Yes. But right now, actually, hata kwetu hapo inje niliona kuna mtu wa meanzisha yo. So it's all about copy and pasting. Yeah. So how can we come out from this from this mentality of copy and pasting businesses and now become a pioneer with a business? Like we know of businesses that have stood time and time. Yeah. The, like they cannot be shaken. Why? Because it was an original idea. So I'm saying... For you to come up with a business, you have to have an eye for opportunity. Yes. For example, when you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. what was the first thing you did? It's a question. Yeah. Oh, you're asking me a yes, question? Yes. When I wake up in the morning, I prayed first. Mm -hmm. I read the word. Mm -hmm. And then now I, I, I started now thinking towards, uh, towards now the globe and all that. What can I do mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. I, had, um, like, I had prepared a list to do things for today. Mm -hmm. And I had to accomplish them. So, yeah. So why don't you sell Bibles mm -hmm. to the people in your church who would want to wake up like you today and read the word? Oh, so that can be a marketing strategy. But again, yeah. I told you uh, there is the transitioning of time. Yes. 
Like today, if you sell a Bible, no one will I buy. I have it on my phone. But if you have a Bible app, yes, you tell your guys in church, download my app. Mm -hmm. This is my app. Mm -hmm. This is the app I've built. Mm -hmm. It is a Bible app. Use yeah. it. Yeah. They will do it. Yeah. Even at a cost. Yes, exactly. Of course, when you download, you are going to get some few coins. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what is the business process, or rather, maybe the process into identifying and into venturing into businesses? So, one is have an eye for opportunity. Mm -hmm. Know what you want. Mm -hmm. Once once you know what you're passionate about. Yes. Okay. I love uh, I love uh, singing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how do I make it profitable to me? You understand? Mm -hmm. Do a research. Okay. People are singing. They are not making money. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why? You get. Mm -hmm. Is it because they're in the wrong places? Is it that they're doing it in the wrong place? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Once once you do uh, you do your own research, research. about it. So before so, you start every business, you have to have a, a background check. Yes. You just don't wake up and say, okay, I'll sell bread. Mm -hmm. And where you're selling bread, yeah. there are almost 100 bakeries. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, yes. you'll come telling us, ah, uh, at, for example, mm. uh, there's this guy known as the chicken guy. Uh -huh. Someone will start a chicken business today yeah. yes. because they said, eh, hey, umtu alianza na kuku na sahi ame, ame kuwa billionaire. Ame omoka. So you, you start selling chicken uh -huh. and it is not a need in the market where you are. You understand? Yes. But uh, first of all, uh, you need to know about what you are going to venture into. Mm -hmm. Because if I cook kitchen today, yes, chicken, yes, in the kitchen, yes, I wouldn't sell you at the same price KFC will sell you. Mm -hmm. Because there is that unique recipe KFC have. Mm -hmm. That's why they will sell you a piece of chicken for three hundred. Yeah. So you have to have knowledge of the business. Mm -hmm. Know what it entails. Mm -hmm. Know who your clientele is. Yes. And then go into it. So all these, you have to put them into consideration and they have to marry each other. Yes. Okay, but, uh, but starting business is a little bit tedious because like uh, there are cartels up there that... Uh, and, and, and uh, many people have been talking about that, like you cannot actually uh, actually blossom in business in Kenya as a young person. Now, actually, as you answer that, so uh -huh. that's basically a cloud. Many people who are saying that, they are not saying it out of experience. Mm -hmm. They are saying it because they had someone saying it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, if today you see a mad person coming your way, mm -hmm. what will you do? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yes. Because he's coming your way. Yeah. So that's the same thing. If you do your business yes. with that type of madness of a mad person, mm -hmm. these cartels would want to put you off, mm -hmm. but they can't because... You are that aggressive. Yes. Because in business, business yes. is a war. Yeah. There are those people who are not happy when, when you you're, succeed. Yeah. Okay. And the only uh, tree, the only tree that is thrown stones at, yeah, is the one that has ripe fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you cloud yourself, like, okay, I can't do that because that's a cartel business. Mm -hmm. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. You are limiting yourself. Yeah. So biz when you when if you are a business person you have to be bold. Yeah, you have, you have to, to be fearless. Yes. And you have to be concrete and sober on decision making. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mr. Billionaire, before we conclude our today's show. Mm -hmm. Maybe this that recipe since you told me at 16 you were able to hold half a million in your hands. Yes. At 16. 16 years old. Mimi nilikuwa naenda kuta... Okay, so... Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. what was the... Re how did you... How did you manage? And at 16, you could have given up because maybe I know you are living with your parents. Yes. Yeah. What is the recipe? I mean, what is that one secret ingredient that made you be where you are today, still in business and still thriving? Be business is something I'm passionate about. Yes. I love seeing the success of something. Yes. Not basically about 
even that half a million mm -hmm. or a billion shillings. Mm -hmm. But when I have a company that empowers a young man and mm -hmm. a woman mm -hmm. to be impactful in their community yes. or their society, yes, that's what I'm all about. Uh -huh. Yes, impacting. Yes, young people and this generation. Basically, dialogue at the well. We are here to impact a generation and to give them hope. Yes. As uh, now, maybe as uh, we conclude our today's show, mm -hmm. you can look at a uh, camera, one in front there, and just uh, be impactful to someone who is watching there. Maybe someone who is there and saying like, "Nina taka ni anzisha biashara, lakini na shindo ni tanzisha." Aje. Okay. You as a young person, my advice to you today is. Whatever it is that you want for yourself in life, it is a decision away. So you have to be bold, be courageous, and take action. Because most of the our youth today, they are very good at saying what they want. But acting upon it is a challenge. So my, my advice my youth mtani, manze, don't be comfortable. Everything might be in your disposal. You might have a good home, what, what, what. But the sweetness of self-reliant is something quite very good. Mm -hmm. When you have things that you're doing for yourself and when you have personal achievements in life, it goes a long way mm -hmm. than what your mom or dad can offer you. Mm -hmm. So get out of that comfort zone. Go think out of the box. And uh, your greatest asset as a young man today mm. is your time and your mind. So use it carefully. Wow. Thank you. You have heard from billionaire Eric Mwenyewe. He has said, get out of that comfort zone, use your mind, and don't be afraid. I guess for me, I will say, if you want to become big, start small. Buona billionaire how mm -hmm. can we maybe someone amesikia like i would want to have or rather extend this conversation with you how can they reach out to you okay you yeah. can reach me through my cell phone number yeah which is 0721 0721 50 just uh, laughing uh, hey? yeah. any other maybe social media handles and platforms uh, you can reach me through eric mboro yes uh, on facebook mm -hmm. and uh, billionaire eric on instagram on instagram yes okay do you have maybe a website that, like you say you do? Yeah, things? we have a, a UXCraft Limited website. Yes. So at uxcraft.co.ke, mm -hmm. you will find us there. Okay. Yeah, you'll see what we have to offer you. Okay. Yeah, for about uh, real estate and uh, real estate uh, selling and renting of property, mm -hmm. you can reach me through my number. Yes. Which I, I will repeat. Yes. Kaji. Which is 0721. Yes. Five zero mm -hmm. nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. Yes. Thank you so much, my brother, Mr. Billionaire. Uh, yes. This yes. was uh, quite an awesome show. Thank and you. And I know much. may impact my vijana and they are out they are about now to start and do business. Yes. Asante yes. sana. Thank you. You have heard from a billionaire himself. I like calling him Eric the Billionaire. And he has given us nuggets to start business. And before we conclude our today's show, he has given us his uh, details, how you can reach out to him. And if you are calling or rather you are from outside Kenya, you can always put plus 254 on his number and you are going to reach out to him. And before I conclude our show today, I can see some comments that are coming in, streaming in, uh, and I'm going to read a few of them from uh, Shiko Mwangi. She's saying that I think we shouldn't be too comfortable with employment, but get creative and innovative by venturing into entrepreneurship. Thank you so much, Shiko Mwangi. Martha Mora is saying business is the way, Sir Edwin Miner, that is my name, Big Ed. Uh, however, young people are becoming less and less acquainted with what it takes to be able to scale such heights. Someone said an unemployment is not the issue. It is hastening the predominantly existing employab unemployable young people. No skills, no attitude no value for working environment. That's why they cannot consistently maintain the little that comes their way. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, business is the way to go. A young man, also Barak, is saying young people we fear to start business. And when I asked him why, he said that yeye aliambiwa akiwa shule ati msome mpate kazi. Education is the key. But I know our education system has really contributed to this. But I know in future things are going to change. Jemo Jimmy Amesema, let's, let me begin by saying that youth should re refrain from that attitude of it's only through employment you can make it in life. I remember we were in the same class of 26, the school of 2016 in computing and informats. Mimi na tulikuwa schoolmates. Thank you so much. And uh, he continued to say that aside, so young, the youth, we need to focus our energy on how we should explore the skills we acquired in campus to create our own job. Let, let's be job creators, not job seekers. Dennis Monena is saying business is the way to go because we thought you are building your own empire unlike working for someone else. Joan Jerry is saying, I think business is good compared to employment. If only you are in charge and like the biz unlike the business does not employ you. I like uh -huh, like you don't become enslaved to it, to go to it each and every time. Grace uh, Wanja Kiboy is saying, young minds have advantage of being innovative and uh, use technology to do unique, unique things, sorry. Being young gives you an opportunity to experience different ideas. And as, as I conclude with a, a comment from a friend, Mr. Ndigwa Prince, is saying that studies show that young people want to start businesses, yet the established business rate the established business rate among adults is substantially higher than it for youth this implies that young people face higher barriers to entrepreneurship than adults and there is a need for better policies aimed at enabling young entrepreneurs realize ambition ambitions Youth-led enterprises also primary employment or rather employ their peer which could potentially cut, uh, uh, catalyze more quality jobs creation in enabling environment. Thank you so much for your comments. We will continue talking about uh, youth and business uh, dialogue at the well. This has been a wonderful show and a wonderful day and I know you have been impacted to go and start a business. As we say here at Dialogue at the Well, we are here to educate, to inform and also to bring hope to your life as a person. This has been Big Ed Kamake Kamakawa, wonderful time with Eric the Billionaire. Till we meet next time here on Wema TV, the voice of hope. Bye bye. Till we meet again. Ciao, ciao. Wema TV, the voice of hope.